you guys. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the max amount of gingerbread in today's Adopt Me Winter Update. And if you would like your very own chocolate chip cookie bat dragon, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. There is so much to explore in this update, but let's get right on into it. So just as we sign in, the first mini game is starting, but I wanna show you guys how to get a lot of candy right off the bat. So I did teleport to Gibbs because I love how they've kind of made the map the same, but it's just a little bit of snow everywhere. I wonder if the map will get completely covered in snow eventually. I also love that they've added back the teleport on the task board. Okay, so this is giving major Polar Express vibes. There's obviously a lot to cover and maybe we will in another video, but this video is strictly about how to get a lot of gingerbread. So you come right over here. If you just followed me exactly where I was going, this man, Billy, yeah, you're gonna wanna talk to him. He says, hey there, listen kiddo, I've got a one-time only deal for you. For 3,500 of your bucks, I'll give you 70,000 gingerbread. Keep it cool, kid. I want to kickstart your winter shopping. Absolutely, yes, please. And just like that, we just got 70,000 gingerbread. Now, immediately after getting our 70,000 gingerbread, what you want to come over and do is come over to the frozen lake and you want to go over and talk to Speedy the Golden Penguin. We got our ice skates on. Let's go ahead and talk to Speedy. Hey there, I'm Speedy. I mean Speedy the Penguin. I make race courses and hobbies for my friends to play. Do you like to race? I've set up a course right here on the lake. On my course, I'll give you 500 gingerbread when you complete your first run. Then we agree to race, and so the very first time that you do this, not only are you gonna set your new high score for the remainder of the winter event, but in addition to the gingerbread that you collect, you're gonna get even more. So we're gonna quickly do this course and be right back. So as soon as you go through the rings, you start jump to avoid the penguins. Make sure you go through all of the rings. Now it does take some getting used to to get good at, oh, just like I said, it does take some getting used to to get good at it, but once you learn the course, it becomes super easy. I'm not so focused on my time right now. Of course, I would love to set a really fast record, but for right now, I just wanna make sure I don't miss a single gingerbread. That's what's important, and obviously you do need to complete the race. You have to go through all of the rings. So what's nice about this is that it's literally the same course every year, so it's kind of easy to remember, but also I'm not super used to using my skates just yet, but I know that I'll get accustomed to it. Once I get this down pat, my high score is like under a minute, but whoop, watch where you're going. I made that penguin super upset. But yeah, guys, don't worry about getting the fastest time your first run. This is just all about getting the gingerbread. As long as I get the max amount of gingerbread possible, that's all I care about. And we're gonna discuss numbers and how to get the max amount of everything very soon. Okay, that's my very first high score, a minute and 15 seconds. So let's talk to Speedy. And there we go. We just got 5,000 gingerbread. Now, immediately after that, as you can see, it's the same as last year, 1920. 1,920 gingerbread every time you complete the course and don't miss a single gingerbread. So now we have our total of 72,420 gingerbread. This is before we've done the other mini game, which I think I either might need to go into a public server or I might need to get an alt account in here. I'm gonna see if that works. Okay, so we're just about to begin the pet rescue mini game, which I believe happens every 10 minutes. Okay, so we're team Sabretooth and the Savage Brit isn't even gonna try. That's just my alt account so at least I found out that you could do a lot of this stuff with just your alt account and look how fast it goes when there's only one player. When I played this in a public server earlier, this was going down super slow. I definitely do like how they make adjustments for people playing in private servers. They did the same for the Halloween event, so we're just about to... Guys, I never said I was good at this mini game, but we are gonna get... Oh, look, we saved him. Yeah, let's go. We did get 3,200 gingerbread or 3,200 gingerbread, which is the max amount you can get even in a public server. I tried it before. And now we have a grand total of 75,620 gingerbread and we've just started the event. So that is every 10 minutes. Let's do a quick little math. Each time we do the gingerbread race, we get 1,920 gingerbread. We got 70,000 gingerbread from that one-time deal from Billy. We got 500 gingerbread from that one-time deal with Speedy. The penguin race resets every 10 minutes, which means there's six times an hour that we could get 1,920 gingerbread. And every time we do the pet rescue minigame, we get 3,200 gingerbread and that also happens happens every 10 minutes, so six times an hour. So after playing for one hour in the first day of the Adopt Me Winter event, doing each mini game all six times per hour, you end up with 101,220 gingerbread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you get some more gingerbread. If it did, make sure to smash that like button on your way out.